Hey everybody, Christopher Bland here from PowerWash.com and I'm really excited to go over the new Genie Basic Pressure Wash Kit. It's got everything you need to get going with residential pressure washing. So let's get to it and go through each piece. This is a Pressure Pro E4040. That's a direct drive, four gallon a minute, 4,000 PSI unit. It's everything you need to drive this whole kit. Since it comes all set up, there's one thing that you have to do or you'll ruin your machine. You have to add oil to the engine. We do not ship them with oil in the engine. All you have to do is go to the gray dipstick on the side of the machine. And basically you're gonna fill it up to full or overflowing. So put as much as you can in, fill it all the way up to the end of the dipstick. We recommend every time before you use it to make sure there's oil in the machine and there's your dipstick. It's right here on the side to check your oil. The second most important thing you have to do before firing up your machine is check the oil in the pump. It ships with oil in the pump. All you have to do is take this cap off, make sure the oil is in there. It should either be dark blue or bright green. And then attached to your unloader hose right here is the new cap to put back on. It has a dipstick built in, so you'll be able to check your oil on your pump. Again, that you wanna do very frequently, once a week or so. As we do more walk around here, this is your unloader. This is pretty much a set it and forget it. It comes from the factory already set. Even though there's a big knob here, don't turn it. If you wanna reset your unloader or your pressure and all that, call us, we'll send you a video on how to do it. As this is a direct drive pressure washer, it'll take positive pressure, which means you connect your garden hose right here to feed it the water. Okay, so you gotta get water into your machine. That's your garden hose. You have to supply that. Moving on, this is the outlet for your pressure side of your pump for your hose. Your hoses will come with your quick connects already on them. So you don't have to build anything and hope they don't link and all that. We've done that for you. All you have to do is use the quick connect and if you're not sure how they work, you just pull on them slide it in until it clicks. Operating a small engine is fairly simple, but I'm just gonna go through some of the basics real quick for you. Like with all small engines, you wanna gas it up. We recommend using some Stabil to keep the fuel good. On off switch. Turn it on before you wanna run it. Turn it off when you're done. This is your throttle. This makes it go faster or slower. Down here is the choke. So when you go to start it, you wanna choke it, pull the cord, once it starts, you can back off on the choke. And at the bottom, an extra feature of these Honda engines is there is a on and off fuel switch. So when you're transporting it, you wanna turn the fuel off. So a really cool feature is if you're gonna put up your machine for any length of time, go ahead and turn the fuel off, let the engine continue to run until it shuts down. That'll clean all the fuel from your carburetor inside of your engine and keep it from turning into varnish, which will make it really hard to start next time. There is some assembly required. We've already applied the PTFT tape for you. So all you have to do is take your lance and screw it into the gun. That lives right here on your machine. With your Genie kit, we've went ahead and added 350 foot lengths of hose. So 150 foot should get you everywhere you need to go. On one of your hoses, this is meant to connect up to the gun. We've went ahead and put your ball valve on here. So all you have to do is quick connect the two together. The benefit of having the ball valve here is if you need to change your wand or connect it to your surface cleaner, you can turn the ball valve off, release the quick connect. It won't shoot water all over you at that point. Put the new item on there turn your ball valve on and you're off and going and you didn't have to turn your machine off. So we've tried to think of everything for you. We put together a small replacement parts box or kit. It's in this really cool divide it. So you get an extra gun. You also get some picks, which are meant to remove O-rings. These wear out. So if you get a leak, it's probably not your fitting. It might just be the O-ring. You use one of these picks to pull it out and you push a new one in. Um, you also get a turbo nozzle, you get some extra PTFE tape, and then all 
kinds of fittings, male and female, your three eighths and your quarter inch. Quarter inch is what goes on the end of your wand. Three eighths is pretty much all your hoses. And uh, it all closes up nicely in this steel box. Some more some assembly required. Your surface cleaner. This 18 inch surface cleaner is fantastic for doing driveways, patios, sidewalks. This is where there's a lot of money and it makes a huge impression to your customer. So you get this 18 inch surface cleaner, but you do have to put it together. It's like two pins, two screws, and it's together. So we're gonna leave it in the box because it ships nicely that way. And we'll rely on you to put it together. And as always, if you have a question, feel free to give us a call. We'll walk you through it. When we said it's the Genie basic kit, it includes everything. It also has a way to downstream chemicals and surfactant to put them up on the wall to assist you with the cleaning. It comes with a pickup, a bucket that you put your mix in, SH, bleach, surfactant, and water. It connects at your gun and it has a really cool nozzle that you can adjust from a, a really big fan all the way down to a straight shot. The X-Jet comes with a whole bunch of proportioning tips. The instructions are in the box and it'll explain it. So rule of thumb, use the beige tip, you're gonna be fine. But if you really wanna tweak how much it draws and what your percentages are, all those are instructions are in your X-Jet box. If you wanna know more, you're welcome to call us and we'll walk you through it. We've tried to think of everything for you. And one of the things you're periodically gonna need is a pressure gauge. You wanna know how well your machine's working. You wanna know if it's at spec or not. Basically, the best place to put this is right at the head of your pump. One of the main reasons you need a pressure gauge is to set your unloader. Remember, this is not something you're gonna do, but once in a blue moon. But you need to know what pressure you're getting when you're resetting your unloader. One of the terms you're gonna hear a lot of is downstream injecting and soft washing. Well, with this kit, you can do that. It comes with a downstream injector and a pickup tube. Basically, you attach this at the pump head and then attach your hose, and now you're downstream injecting. Real quick, downstream injecting is basically pulling or drawing chemicals into your stream so you're not just shooting water. And the downstreaming part means it's after your pump. So the heart of your machine is protected from the corrosive chemicals. Let's wrap this up. One thing I want you to remember is that with the Genie Kit, you also get about an eight hour online training course that will teach you all about pressure washing. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for the Genie Kit. Happy washing. And remember, we're here for you at powerwash.com.